I think what makes Nancy unique can be summed up in four words, a force of nature. She is extremely articulate, very dedicated, very hardworking, intelligent, creative. She brings a lot to the table. My first impression of uh, Nancy was that she was someone completely dedicated to the task at hand and someone who wouldn't take no for an answer. I think that discovery of Huntington's and her family really shaped her life. Huntington's disease is a, is a terrible genetic disorder, an inherited genetic disorder. It leads to progressive loss of brain cells, which in turn lead to both physical and mental difficulties. My mother, she was diagnosed in 1967. She had Huntington. Her father called her and her sister and said, we have this disease, you are both at risk. We're gonna get the best scientists in the country, form a foundation and fight this disease. We started the Hereditary Disease Foundation. Part of my hats was running the Huntington's Disease Commission. And the commission had a working group on Venezuela. The hunt for the disease gene began in earnest in about 1981, when Nancy became aware of a very large family in Venezuela with hundreds, if not thousands, of individuals affected by Huntington's disease. They try to track who had the disease, who didn't have the disease, and they try to give clues as to what was what made that disease work. And that was such, you know, kind of shocking, you know, turning point for me that basically said, let us uh, look for a marker near the Huntington gene. And then Jose Luis showed up at the age of two, this little boy had developed Huntington. I'd never seen that in a kid that young. His dad had gone in his 40s. Another brother had gone at 15. And then when we sequenced that little boy, Jose Luis, he had so many repeats in his DNA. That's exactly how we found the gene. And then they should turn that over to geneticists and molecular biologists in order to figure it out. And Nancy's collaborator, Jim Gasella at Massachusetts General Hospital, used this technique called linkage analysis, which enabled him and his collaborators to locate the gene at the tip of chromosome four. Once they found the gene, it revolutionized the approach to trying to find a, a treatment. What we also, um, at the moment, have really is the ability to change the world. Her role in this, I believe, really advanced the understanding, the familiarity, the recognition of Huntington's disease and encouraged people in science to work on it. The work on Huntington's disease was an exemplar of how the strategies that people were using to do this sort of genetic analysis. And I decided that this would be a great topic for a Banbury meeting. And so she came to these meetings and helped organize two of them. The work that they were doing was, was enhanced and accelerated. I like to think that Cold Spring Harbor Laboratory and the Banbury Center helped in Nancy's quest for the Huntington's disease gene. I think Nancy's legacy will be that she put Huntington's disease on the map and excited scientists, students, supporters, families to help work on beating it. Without Nancy, the field of research and therapy related to Huntington's disease would be nowhere. It's taken almost 40 years from her first beginning to work on the genetics of Huntington's disease to where there is now a therapy in trial. Without her perseverance, without her devotion, I don't know what would have happened. For me, receiving this award for my heroes is like saying, well, hallelujah. I mean, this is phenomenal.